Hey guys, for those of you who subscribe to my channel for surfboard building, it's been a while since I've done uh, videos on building surfboards. I posted uh, in the last few months videos on how to repair surfboards. But uh, I want to do something a little different here and I want to show you guys the difference between EPS, uh, styrofoam, it, um, and XPS, which is this closed cell type of foam. This stuff here doesn't absorb water, whereas this does absorb water. This is comes in um, all kinds of different densities, whereas this stuff here is typically used in construction, and it is uh, fairly dense already, and it's uh, readily available at the hardware store. Whereas styrofoam, polystyrene, is available at the hardware store, however, not in very thick thicknesses, and typically it's not in the um, best densities. Whereas I get this stuff here custom ordered and it's uh, it's very dense. I've been exclusively using this to build boards for the last few years. However, um, before I had access to this type of foam, I did a lot of board building with this type of foam here, the XPS. The benefits of this stuff is again, it doesn't absorb water. If you get a crack, you get a ding in your board. However, the disadvantages are uh, epoxy doesn't like to stick to it as much, or adhesives do not like to stick to it as much as the polystyrene. Now, this does make a very good surfboard. I've ha uh, My first board was probably 12 years ago, and it is still holding up to this day. No uh, real issues with it. I did have a delamination around one of the fins, um, but minor, was able to repair it and I use that board a lot. So I'm gonna make another board out of this, but I was curious to see how well the uh, fiberglass, the lamination layer, sticks to this type of foam. So uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of testing here. I'm going to put some paint on both pieces and I'm going to laminate some fiberglass with the epoxy onto the different foams and see uh, what kind of results I get. Uh, I'm gonna peel off once it sets, it cures, I'm going to peel off the fiberglass and see how hard uh, it is to peel off the various parts of the foam, uh, including sections that I've painted. So what I have here is some acrylic paint, water-based, and you can use this stuff here, toll paint. Um, I'm probably going to use this red on the white just so for contrast, but I'm going to use white on this XPS because um, this doesn't make the prettiest surfboards. They, this comes in like this is Pink Panther brand or Dow brand, I believe, and it's pink. Uh, go figure, the Pink Panther. And then there's also blue stuff, which Corning or Dow. I'm getting them mixed up now, but there's blue and pink. Um, but they don't really make the nicest boards for uh, when you laminate over them. So I want to try painting it for my board and see how it comes up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint this. I'm going to apply a layer of paint to it in a square here and just see how well the lamination sticks to this so that's going to be that patch there and I'm going to wash my brush and I'm going to do red over here so I'll do that off camera but basically what I'm going to have is two patches I'm going to have uh, of color and then I'll have two patches that don't have any color on it and I'm going to laminate the fiberglass to it and then try peeling it off and anecdotally see which one seems to to hold up better and what the results are because uh, I have painted XPS uh, with very good results but I've never tried painting um, or I should say polystyrene I've never tried painting XPS this stuff over here um, so I'm curious to see how this is going to going to work out I did forget to mention a few things. Uh, I do have a video in my how to make a surfboard video series. If uh, you're interested in that, check that out. I'll, po I'll post the, uh, the, the link to it in the description below. But to give you the, the shorthand version when I talk about this type of foam in one of the videos for that series, is this foam here, um, stuff doesn't like to stick to it very well because uh, for whatever reason, when they, whatever blowing agent they use to make this, it doesn't, um, stuff doesn't like to adhere to it as well as this stuff over here. 
as well as the star foam polystyrene um, so that's why I'm doing this test the other thing is this foam here you don't need to vent whereas this stuff here it is critical you vent this the polystyrene vent this don't think that you can get away without venting it you need to vent this this stuff here though it doesn't need to be vented I've had excellent no problems leaving this in a in a warm car with no issues but leaving this in a hot car not so good So I got the red painted on here. I forgot to mention I've sanded both pieces of foam to 100 grit. Typically with the XPS you want to sand it even uh, coarser with a coarser grit of paper so that there's a lot of surface area for the epoxy to grab hold. But we'll see how it works out all things being equal. So I've mixed up some epoxy now. I've cut out four patches that I'm going to laminate. So I'm putting them over the color. So this one's over the white. This one will just be on top of the XPS and this one will be on top of the EPS. Right like that. Pour a little bit on all of them. My squeegee. Just gonna squeegee these out. So now that everything's saturated properly, I'm just going to scrape off the excess so everything's consistent. Perfect. Now we'll leave it to set, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and test it start peeling them off so I gotta let this set for probably about five days for the epoxy to fully cure maybe even up to a week so it's been about five days and everything has set up nicely the epoxy's cured what I ended up doing was I ended up putting a hot coat on top of this as well to fill in the weave of the fiberglass and it's uh, it looks pretty good it's pretty solid strong now so basically we have four patches here that are going to mimic the the shell the skin of a surfboard and next what I'd like to do before I peel to test how well the the epoxy and lamination has held to the two types of foam is I'm going to take a hammer a ball peen hammer here and I'm going to whack one half of each of these patches and what that will allow me to do is to mimic uh, a ding or a smack on a rock or hitting it on a door jam or what have you and to see how well um, that holds up as well so that'll be uh, the first thing I do and then I'll peel and just kind of anecdotally see how well the lamination has held to the two different types of foam and also to the paint All right, I also set up an extra light here just to just give a little extra light here. Okay, so I'm gonna whack the bottom half of 
all four spots. So they're all indented, which mimics kind of maybe even a delamination. It's going to start separating a little bit. I'm going to go grab a screwdriver of some sort and maybe just to help start peeling this up. And we're going to investigate to see how everything has stuck. All right, I'm going to start over here on the XPS foam. Got my putty knife or my screwdriver here. I'm going to peel where I give it a whack with the hammer. Just to see how well this is adhering. So and in terms of that, it seems to, the paint seems to have held onto the epoxy quite well. So that seems okay. Just investigate a little further. So, so far it seems like the foam is peeling and the paint is not. That seems, that seems okay. Doesn't seem too bad at all. And hopefully that's in focus. But we'll come back to that. So I'm gonna just set this aside up here. So I guess next I'll try this one. I'll, I'll just do all of the all of the actual dents first. And where it got struck with the hammer seemed okay. Um, it did delaminate, it, it, it did peel off quite easily, but it wasn't that bad. It's about the same as well. So I will put that up here. And switch off to the styrofoam. The, this is the EPS. And that seems to have held fairly, fairly well as well. Uh, I've had a lot of experience with using this foam anyway, and I know that it generally doesn't give any issue when you paint it. And then lastly, directly on it with the dent. And that has some pretty good adhesion even with the dent. It's still held up. So these are the ones with the dent. And just looking at them anecdotally, um, they all seem to have held up pretty well. The one with the with the painted foam, oddly, um, it looks like some of the paint and the epoxy is kind of pulled off a little bit. Um, so that's left a little bit, but not too bad in terms of getting it off. It did seem very hard. Um, whereas over here on the XPS, the paint did peel fairly easily away from this foam. Um, so that you can see there, or I should say the foam peeled away from the foam itself fairly easily. So I think that's what they talk about when they say this has a tendency to delam. But overall, not too bad. Um, respectable, I would say. 
Now, I apologize, that might not have been completely in, in frame or in focus that time. But, so this is the one with the paint and the XPS. This is just the XPS with no paint, EPS with paint, um, EPS with no paint. And they all seem to have held up okay. Just in the case of the XPS, it seems that it just kind of, the foam separate separated itself from the foam. But we're gonna we're gonna further test that on the side that hasn't had any dents and see how how uh, how it holds up. All right. Next, let's do the side that wasn't damaged. So this is XPS with paint. So that's XPS with paint. The other side, uh, I just should mention, I didn't want to peel all of it off, so I kind of tore it and broke it off just to see how it would look. This side, I'm going to try to peel every single piece off. So that's that one. So let's come back to that. So that peeled fairly easily. And again, it's the, the epoxy... The epoxy stuck to the foam just fine, but it's the foam that peeled from the foam itself. So let's come back to that. Now let's look over here on the on the EPS, aka Star Foam. Let's start with the painted side first. And this this is much, much, much harder to peel already. I probably could get this off in one sheet if I took my time. Almost. Pretty strong, even with the paint. And as you can see, the paint kind of soaks in, so this is that whole open cell foam, as opposed to XPS, which is closed cell. Okay. And then, the lastly, Okay, this is way harder to peel. Okay, let's see what we what we ended up here. Let's set it up back in the order that uh, that I originally had done all the painting. Okay, let's start with let's start with actually let's start with this over here. Let's start with this first. This is the epoxy lamination without any paint directly on EPS foam. This, I have to say, out of all of them, I found the hardest to peel off. This came off in little pieces. Definitely very, very hard. Um, this, you, you, like, you can still see the big chunks of foam here. Definitely the strongest bond out of all of them, uh, just even if it's, uh, in my opinion, and anecdotally. Uh, next, this. This stuff... I have to say pretty well as as uh, as as this one without the paint. Even though this one was painted, um, it did leave some of the residual paint that soaked in through. But I have to say this was a very strong bond as well. Um, so uh, it peeled off in in one big sheet almost, but it did break off in some spots. And I tried um, to kind of peel it off in one sheet. Um, so pretty respectable as well. Now let's move to the XP. S. So, 
this is this peel off significantly easier um, this is the one without the paint it just it peeled off no problem now I have made epoxy surfboards out of this foam and actually I only had one issue and it was delamination around the fins where it's going to get the most amount of stress so uh, I'll get to my conclusion afterwards but I just wanted to see it there is a big big difference between the two I have to say it surprised me how big of a difference this you saw just peeled right off and then the one with the paint same thing the paint to the foam the paint being between the foam and the epoxy wasn't really an issue again what released was the foam the foam from the foam so when you look at this let's just let's just take a closer look here at everything this one it's got a bit of roughness to it same with this one here where it got peeled up because the foam actually kind of tore out like here especially there's all kinds of little divots in it um, get a closer look here Let's see if I can zoom so I can focus in on this so right here you can see all these chunks that are taken out same here a little bit not as much as this but certainly a little bit more than say this foam here where this foam here on the other hand uh, not it's completely smooth if this if it didn't have all this residual epoxy around the edge you wouldn't even think that this uh, had anything stuck to it um, on both circumstance on both sides now again this was just with the epoxy on the foam and this one with just with the epoxy between with paint between it but it didn't seem to make a difference okay <clears throat> So, conclusion wise, what's my conclusion? My conclusion is EPS will off gas and you need to vent the boards or the foam or else you're going to get run into some problems with this type of foam. XPS you don't have to. <clears throat> I probably would lean towards making surfboards mostly out of this just because it is a much, much stronger material. Um, in terms of the bond with the epoxy however I have made probably I think around four surfboards out of this material here out of the XPS um, the closed cell what I really like about this foam is it doesn't absorb water so where I'm going with this I would recommend probably for people who don't have any experience in building boards stick with EPS first styrofoam for those of you who are a little more experienced and maybe you want a board that can tolerate heat a little bit more, can tolerate, um, um, it won't off gas so you don't need to vent it and you don't mind making your board a little bit of a stronger glassing schedule, XPS will probably work just fine for you. However, if you can't readily get this type of foam and you can get this type of foam more easily, by all means, this foam will work. Just keep in mind, if you're going to be doing any type of uh, lamination around uh, the f where the leash plug is or where the fins are or the fin boxes, glass it a little heavier there. Maybe go instead of a 6-4 glassing schedule, that's 6 ounces of cloth per, per square foot uh, or 4 ounces, go maybe with a 6-6 six, six, or maybe even like a 6-6 six, six and then a 4. That might be a little overkill. However, that will eliminate any stresses that are placed directly on the foam and the, 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 the fiberglass and the epoxy will take the most of the stress. Um, so ideally you probably would want to make your boards out of this. You could get away with making it out of this stuff here, the XPS. But just keep in mind that it's not going to have as good of a bond so you might have to glass your whole board a little bit heavier so maybe gla um, do a regular glassing schedule except for around the fins where I just mentioned maybe glass it with like a 6.6 six or something instead of a 6.4 um, go with uh, maybe an additional hot coat or gloss coat so you know do your lamination go a hot coat then maybe 
don't just leave it at the hot coat maybe just go one more if you weren't going to do um, a gloss coat even just put a little extra epoxy down sand it put a little extra epoxy down my plan is possibly in the next little while to make another board using this type of foam for those of you who are interested so if you're interested in um, in making a board out of this uh, I might have something coming up I'm contemplating it because I want to make another surfboard um, and I already have a series done on how to make a surfboard out of this stuff over here the styrofoam the EPS so check that out I'll put it in the description below however maybe in the future if I'm so motivated this winter I might make one out of this foam here so stay tuned for for possibly that I won't make any promises at this very moment but when I do decide I'll um, I'll do an intro video on the next board I build so anyways that's my long long spiel and my uh, my impressions of between these two types of foam and uh, so there you go that's you can kind of just based on what I've done you can even decide for yourself just by what uh, how how the epoxy and the lamination peeled off of the foam